here on the Home tab and click one of these Draw Tools. I'm going to choose Rectangle because I'm going to make a garage here. Tell people where to park. Okay, so you can draw your own, your own, draw your own shapes. And then finally, the next thing you can do is you can download shapes. So I know that uh, there is a website here, or there's a page on the Microsoft Download Center where you can uh, download a geographic maps for Visio. And you don't have to get it from us. There are shapes that people make on their own hobbyist websites, um, and some of them are awesome. Okay, so I'll click this link here, and um, I happen to know that this maps underscore u dot zip is the one I want. I did it earlier, so I'll click download, and then open. And it opens up the zip file, and uh, you know you don't always have to extract a zip file. You can just sort of copy things out of it. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to copy the United States map stencil. And that is, uh, it's actually downloaded two stencil files for me, a world maps and a United States one. I only want the United States one. So now that I've downloaded these, this stencil of shapes, how do I get it in the Visio to, uh, to work with it? You put it in that My Shapes folder. You may not even know that this is there, but if you go to um, Documents and then My Shapes, just put it in this folder here. So. Put your VSS folder in there or your VSSX folder in here. And then it will show up in Visio. I'll show you. So we'll go back to our map. And then we will go do more shapes, my shapes, and then you'll see, oh, there's that United States stencil. Okay. And then we can uh, drag our United States out here if we want to. We could drag the whole uh, country out here and then you could maybe add call outs and um, you know maybe call attention to sales figures in each state or you could uh, show voting percentages so that's a that's a really great stencil a lot of people use that one mm -hmm.